What is up, people? My name is Jory Tastic with you as always for the Audacity or Audacity tutorial that I was talking to you guys about. If you haven't checked out why I recommend Audacity, check it out in the previous video and we'll go ahead and talk about how to use it now. Again, Audacity is one of the most simplest, uh, most powerful free tools that you can have that is very convenient, especially when doing YouTube commentary or, or gameplay commentary because it doesn't take a lot of CPU, it doesn't take a lot of RAM, it's, it's, it's very easy on the computer. So a few things we're going to be doing, first of all, um, this is uh, right, what you're seeing right now is a sample from uh, a recording I did for an episode and it sounds like this. Let's go ahead and play it. Hello people of YouTube, my name is Jory Tastic and today we're playing the higher or lower game. Uh, this game has been out, I don't know how long, but it's been out for a while. So that's what it sounds like. And uh, to use Audacity is very simple, you know, the red button is for record. Um, you generally want to go mono, you see up here, um, because stereo tends to only bring uh, volume or sound out of one speaker. Mono covers both speakers, so here's how you can do it, you just simply click on here, click mono. Um, I wouldn't worry about the rest of this, but mono is the way that you want to record in. Uh, over here, as you can see, you have the 30 bit, uh, 32 bit flow, which is not very high, but again, you're only doing commentary uh, and it is free. You can increase the volume for the overall track here and there, and you can pan it left or right from here and there. Pretty self explanatory stuff on this side. And then we have here the recording. So if you wanted to edit or delete something, if you wanted to delete, you just simply highlight and delete, right? It's as simple as that. So I don't, and to undo, you just click control Z so you can highlight and click delete on your keyboard um, that's that's one way that I go about it you know the easiest way I actually never even I think yeah you can just put control K but you can just press delete on your keyboard it works out so that's right there that's another thing for you um, to add to add effects to it you just highlight that that's one thing that's kind of weird about it you gotta highlight what area you want the effects to be added on like if you want the whole track, you just double click and the whole track gets highlighted. So let's say I wanted to put a compressor, you know. Here comes a compressor. You arrange it how you want it. Obviously, the, the, the lower the threshold, the higher it's going to be. You don't want it to be too high. Um, ratio, attack time, release time. All of this stuff doesn't really matter if you're doing this for um, YouTube type of stuff. If you're, let's say, recording a rap song, then it probably matters, but that's... That's a whole different ball game. I'm doing this primarily for the YouTubers that want something simple to use and don't know how to use it. So I got my threshold, blah, blah, blah. I click OK. There it is doing its thing. Uh, this is about seven, eight minutes in track length. So here it is doing its thing. And boom, as you can see, it got a little bigger because the threshold uh, or the, the compressor uh, compresses things out and makes them level. I ha You see that gray area up here? That means... All of this stuff is like compressed, it's not gonna go higher than this. And you can arrange this by simply just dragging it like this or like that, you know. So that's how to add compressors. If you wanted to add a reverb, and you don't know what a reverb is, is that like little little bit of like decay. Um, let's say you're in an empty room, uh, that's what a reverb kind of sounds like. There's that for you right here as well, um, which is amazing, which is awesome. Um, and this goes for any effect that you want. Uh, I don't really, I don't really use reverb that much. I use it just a little bit, uh, mostly just compressors is what I use it for. Um, and besides that, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. So you've done this and all of this stuff, and let's say you're ready, you want to save it, you save it as. But you can export, you can export the audio um, in many different ways. Uh, you can do it as uh, as a WAV file. You can do it as an MP3 file. M4A file. There's a, l a lot of a lot of ways that you can do it. M4A file is actually you can use it for like iPhone ringtones. But anyways, um, I usually do WAV files because they're a little more bigger in file size. However, uh, they're way more crystal uh, crystal clear than MP3. I, I shouldn't say way more, but they're they're clearer than MP3 files. But if you're not working with a lot of space and you have minutes and minutes of audio just go with mp3 you click save wherever save and it comes out like this just as simple as that so that's how you use audacity um this is you got the zoom in zoom out buttons right here um these things i don't really work with too much um like i said this is how you use audacity it's pretty simple stuff uh nothing complicated nothing major uh it's uh, it's very nice you can go analyze stuff and you know there's one thing let's say 
uh, there's a noise reduction uh, that every now and then I do use and uh, it helps to kind of eliminate let's say you have a fan in the background uh, you have you know little kids in the living room and you're in a room all this stuff so it kind of just helps uh, eliminate some noise a little bit so that's something you can use if you have any questions please leave a leave a comment below I'll be happy to answer them and if you're wondering how to get audacity I'm gonna link the previous video of where to get it and how to get it below in the description box if this video did help you please hit the like button share it with somebody that might that might help them as well comment and subscribe to the channel thank you very much for watching my name is your and I am out